hell is wrong with you people and tries to sort of shut the whole thing down and then gets sucked into this musical against his own will and so that's been our kind of premise and it really echoes his life. I didn't have the head for school, never read a book cover to cover, you know, I just wasn't interested. Why? Why? Sir, is that... Is that you? How the hell they get you here? What is so damn important that you have to continually interrupt my class? Perhaps you'd like to share it with the rest of us. Uh, no, not really, sir. I was just chatting to these people. I will not tolerate idle chatter in here if you can't shut up. I was just telling them how we're going to smash Assumption College on Thursday. Oh, the big game. Oh, how stupid of me. I didn't realise you were talking about sport. <laughs> Take as long as you need, oh, you silly duff. I don't know why. I've got a mobile, but I was in a phone booth on tour talking to my manager and just through the phone booth against the news agency wall was one of those kind of broadsheet headlines that had a photo of Shane Warne, you know, with the advanced hair laser panels and this caption that said, what's he up to now? And I was talking to my manager, I was just laughing at that and I said, man, someone's got to write a musical about this guy's life. Have I ever shown even the slightest evidence of having any sense of humour? Uh, not really. <laughs> You're damn right I haven't. So pull your socks up, son. Come Saturday, you'll be playing for St Kilda! <laughs> You take a look at me, Saints jumping number 23. Uh, I think it was definitely Eddie that drew me to the, uh, you know, to ending up in the director's seat. I just had uh, such a great time working with Eddie on um, on the Keating show, and he started to play me the the songs that he'd written. Which um, and the first one that really struck me was Dancing with the Stars. The um, Michael Slater and the Shane Warne stuff was hysterical. Just every song that came along after that was um, uh, as good, or if not. Like the idea of it immediately seemed appealing, but it was appealing because it was Eddie. Uh, I suspect if uh, uh, there aren't very many other people that could uh, ha get the right balance of popular culture and uh, sense of humour. Ah, it's good, isn't it? Recover. Us men, Lock. working out together, Recover. getting all Lock. sweaty. Recover. Oh, that AIS. Recover. Makes me think of that. Recover. What's that YMCA? Recover. Are you like that, Daniel Stevenson? Recover. Who would you be? Recover. I'd be the cop. Recover. I reckon you'd be the biker. Recover. Uh, don't you hold that shaft too tight, Lauren. Recover. Like Eddie really comes into his own writing the, um, the kind of power ballad. But you won't Like I think the, the two Simone songs, and particularly What About That, it, it comes so deeply from the heart. What about that shame? And I think that TJ song, uh, Pissed All Away, coming at the crucial point. Get inside before you wake the neighbours! Yeah. You know, there's the beer song, there's Get Off the Couch, but Ugh. there's suddenly someone nice acting like his dad. And just saying, you know, you're making a fool of yourself, you've got to yeah, do something with the gift that you've been given. No, shame, I'm not having a And you realise that, there's, that the, the piece is about something uh, deeply serious. Has it slipped your mind that you've been selected to represent your country? Jesus. Most people only dream of that honour, and you've done nothing to deserve it. Drinking, sucking back fags, eating shit, skiving off training every chance you get. You're the regular rock star, aren't you? Warning, warning. Movie master Steven Spielberg brings you Ted's big family flick. What's your name, dude? Clint Eastwood. What kind of stupid name is that? Back to the Future 3, 6.30 tonight on 10. Never done anything like that before, so it was quite new, but, uh, but very exciting. I think it was only about a month. I didn't realise it'd be that quick, actually, yeah. I couldn't believe how quickly it worked for me, so... Definitely changed my life, <laughs> definitely. Come see this guy. He's a real stunner. Stunning Value is back at Hungry Jack's. Get a cheeseburger, small fries, small coke and a sundae, all for just four ninety five. Grab a four ninety five cheeseburger stunner deal, only at Hungry Jack's.
ANZ has extended hours in major shopping centres to make your banking just that little bit more convenient this Christmas. Now. Our games. Our maps. Our music. Now we can all contribute to the web from the palm of our hands. Nokia N96. The web, now made by hand. You've just got to break out. In eight hours, you'll see less of it. Amazing Neutrogena Rapid Clear Spot Gel. Penetrates fast to remove dirt and bacteria. For clearer skin, fast. Works in just eight hours or your money back. Rapid Clear from Neutrogena. They were sent to rescue the event horizon. But who's going to save them? You can't leave. She won't let you. Sam Neill, Lawrence Fishburne. God help us. Event Horizon, 8.50 tonight. Try some drums first. I think a lot of the work was really done with Eddie writing the music first, and I took on that music and very much treated the dancing uh, in a type of in a stylistic way to the music. So the choreography is very much often uh, following the kind of genre style of the music for, for each song as a, I guess, a kind of a visualisation of the music on stage. It's really clear that we're going to be about two or three uh, very dance numbers and I decided that that would, have to be, that would have to start very early in the rehearsal period, basically because uh, this cast was not really cast on, on dancing skills primarily, they were primarily cast on singing and then acting and then dancing. So what we have is a combination of experience and skill in the cast. There's a couple of people who are quite good dancers, there's actually a couple of people in the cast who have hardly danced at all before and so it's quite a challenge to, um, to, to make some of them, you know, do really good work in dance and they've, they've worked really hard and it just means that we've had to start a lot of the dance sequences very early in the rehearsal period. I really, I sort of enjoy the long days and I like the, I like, I like that feeling like you're working hard and getting on top of things but I just worked out that I'm just hopeless at dancing and stuff like that. It just takes me a while to pick things up and I've got to work at it a bit harder and started feeling really old with all these nubile young women leaping around me like the professional dancers that they are. I was quite frank with the, with the cast, came in and said look you know there's going to be this Bollywood number, uh, there's going to be a, a kind of a hat and cane which is going to be a cap and stump kind of thing for the guys and they're going to be quite complex and the whole piece is really about you dancing that piece and we're going to have to start right on the first day of rehearsals because at least then they're going to have you know close six to eight weeks to, to get it together. A lot of things in the studio really change on stage. It's very difficult to say how things will work on stage. Once they're on stage you can already see things that don't work too well or things that were sometimes the opposite, things that went that great in the studio seem to work very well on stage. Um, and then once you put the audience in, there's a whole different dynamic that kicks in. Eddie, wow. I've written all the music, written all the jokes, and very good jokes. He's a very funny fella. And I just find he's an absolute wonderful, rare talent. You ought to know, you of all people, I'm not like those other blokes. This is Black, Recover, I'm a cricket robot. Yeah, well, that's because those well, I think this might be his first words. proper musical that's type thing. Well, well if this is his first effort, it's pretty bloody good. Oh, shit. Well, what gets me is it's just music knowledge. You'd be singing away and you go, oh, Rob, you meant to be singing da 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 And then you go, oh, yeah, this is the musical director that I'm working with here. You know, he knows every note because he's written it. Now that young man is tired and old Served his time, now he's on parole He thought prison had crushed his soul but it came back when he saw you bowl And he won't watch while you piss it all Piss it all away <laughs> I have worked so hard in this 
we're on about every scene, and um, and even when you're not on, you're dressing frantically backstage, and we don't have a huge amount of room. Hey, morning! TJ, this is Terry Jenner, my bowling coach and mentor. Now, he did more for my action than anyone. He's also the only guy at the Academy worth listening to. What's up, TJ? How's the action? Have you tried putting a bit more height in the delivery lock, I told you? Yeah, mate, and that's working, but it's this grip I'm not happy with. Coach insists on it. It's too tight. I must feel tense when I come into the wicket. Then loosen it off. Really? Yeah, you got to find out what's right for you. Now, show me how you want to hold it. Well, it's a bit unconventional, but if it feels good... Well, it feels right to me. Then let it rip. Beautiful, mate. <laughs> Bloody beautiful. <laughs> I've had a spin ball at all. And right now it feels like I've spent three years writing a musical just as a really elaborate excuse to meet Shane Warne. Rock the 80s with REO Speedwagon. But you roll with the changes. He's got the voice, but has he got what it takes to win the big cash? Disco for half a million dollars. New lyrics, Sunday on 10. Oh, tired of the incessant cleaning? Then stop, because you're about to see something that gives you back more free time, makes cleaning not only faster and easier, but also more enjoyable. And over 100,000 Australian households have found that out already. You've been impressed by the ads you've seen for the sensational original cordless Go Duster and been amazed at how its motorised head spins at 250 revs per minute to attract dust like a magnet. But now we're about to floor you with our unbeatable Christmas offer. But first, watch this. Go Duster fits into just about any size or shape and lets you dust in hard to reach places. The places you want to clean but always leave for another time are an absolute breeze for the Go Duster. And it's perfect for plasma and LCD TVs, getting in and around computers and delicate electronics. And blinds and shutters are just too easy for the Go Duster. Like the warning says, Go Duster may cause you to enjoy dusting. And when you're done, just rinse Go Duster in running water. Don't be fooled by cheaper, poorly manufactured imitation products. There is only one original Go Duster. And now, here's the part you've been waiting for, our unbeatable Christmas offer. Call the number on your screen now or go online and the Go Duster can be yours today for just six easy payments of $9.95 plus postage and handling. You get the extra long head for hard to reach places, the medium head that's great for everyday cleaning and will include the mini duster head free. Perfect for inside your car or computer keyboard. Plus the extension handle and the very handy wall caddy. All for just six easy payments of $9.95 plus postage and handling when you call now. Stop the clock. Think it can't get any better? Call now and use your credit card and we'll give you a second Go Duster free. Just pay the extra postage and handling. That's two Go Dusters for the price of one, each with all three heads, the extension handles and the wall caddies. Give the gift of faster, easier, more enjoyable cleaning to a friend this Christmas. And if you're not completely satisfied, simply return it within 30 days for a full refund of the purchase price, less postage and handling. But you must call Global Shop Direct now or go online to get this unbeatable Christmas offer. Are you ready for television like you've never experienced before? Freeview. 15 free digital channels. All delivered with incredible crystal clear digital pictures and sound. Freeview. Stay tuned. Steve Carell's keeping what everyone wants to lose. Are you a virgin? 8.30 Sunday, intense big comedy. Enter Virgin Territory. The 40-year-old virgin, 8.30 Sunday. Come with me, I'll show you some, uh, I'll show you some of the backstage. It's just it's so cramped, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, we have to stay hydrated, so we drink and drink and drink all the way through. Just water, that's all. As you can see, this, that's the theatre. That's not a huge amount of room. So we're running up and down here, and then if you want to come a little further. I just want to show you this next stairwell. See, not much room. That's as wide as the... <laughs> it is so small. Now I'll take you and just have a look down there. <laughs> See? That's Candace doing fabulous work. Yes. Yes, part of the family. It's like living in a submarine, isn't it, dear? And look how close we are because right I'll, I'm just looking right at the stage. I'll just uh, There, you're on. Here we go.
comes now. My name is John. I don't know if my life would ha handle the kind of microscopic analysis that Shane warns. Stacy to customer service. It's just, it's just that sort of the golden thing about comedy is if you uh, don't try and make it funny, but you try and make it real, it's going to be, it's going to be funny if it's written well. I'm trying my best to be sweet and domestic. I'm doing the good husband thing. Trying to act stable while reading a label, but the SMSs keep flooding in. on groceries, squeezing a small mandarin. So I sneak a peek and my knees they go weak. What an SMS I'm in. So I'm playing Simone Warren. I love swapping. And her role in the piece, she's kind of like the emotional anchor. What an SMS I'm in. She sort of, I think, keeps a bit of soul and heart in the show, so it's not all shenanigans. Is the sun the moon? A lot of people say that to me, oh, you know, like, oh, it must be, be funny and, you know, you must kind of take the piss and everything like that. And it's like, no, no, not really. I mean, obviously there are moments where, um, it, it, where we do and, and we do have a laugh, um, but it's very tastefully done. It doesn't burn my skin. I try and make Simone as real as possible. You know, I don't want to make her a parody. I, I want to make her a real person that people feel feel for, um, that not and not something that people just laugh at. You know, I, I kind of I really hope that she she likes what I do. I understand that if she did come and see this show, it would be you know painful, but I'm sure that she'd she'd find it um, you know, and, and a nice experience. is missing. I know what it's like thinking that poor woman, her husband is dead. How do you hold it together when your whole world is falling apart? This is Major Sherwood's wife? Oh my god. Army Wives, 9.30 Monday. Your new debit Massacre off the rock. Sweet on your bread should rock. People get $20 in music downloads every month for a year. Hey, hold up, guys. Do they know anything a little more mellow? Of course. Play the love song. What's so In celebration of AFC Outdoors Series 6, starting on Sunday, December 21st, Ford Ranger presents the Classic Fishing Catch Competition. Up for grabs is a Stratus 275 Pro XL boat, complete with trailer and 115 horsepower Mercury outboard. To be in the running to win, simply log on to fishnet.com.au, watch the online movies and pick the one that you think is good enough to be the Ford Ranger Classic Fishing Catch. So get voting and good luck. Guys, pay less, pay cash. I'm seeing this guy. He's a real stunner. 
Stunning value is back at Hungry Jack's. Get a cheeseburger, small fries, small Coke and a sundae, all for just $4.95. Grab a $4.95 cheeseburger stunner deal only at Hungry Jack's. My name's Candy. I'm the assistant stage manager here. Flown from the other side of the world to come and do this show. Um, I mainly look after how everything's going on backstage, all the props, all the costume changes. Um, I have to buy a lot of pizza, cigarettes, VB. Um, just checking that everything's safe, really, and there's, there's a huge amount of stuff that moves around for the whole show all the time, and I'm either replacing it or making it work or plugging it in, or I'm kind of everywhere all the time at once. It's quite nice to track somebody through their life, you know, over a period of a couple of different decades, so you can get a nice sense of how things pass and what kind of looks pop up, like scary mullets. Hello, old friend. <laughs> It starts in the sort of mid to late 80s uh, where we meet the young Shane and at home and, and the little uh, sideways step he takes into an alternate sporting career other than the one that we know him for. Spend my waking hours trying to forget And I'm reminded every time I watch my television set And I see them run A lot of it's quite iconic and it's simple. Eddie barely leaves the stage, so the changes have to kind of have a liquidity about them and the items of clothing have to be able to overlap and, and kind of disappear very quickly. Chatter to some models and a rock stop. There were some footballers, a weatherman and that guy from Flying Doctors. It was hot, I was sweating a lot. I said I need to go and get a beer before I tee off. Well, she has really particular moments. The first time we meet her, she's working as a Foster's girl, doing promotional modelling with a whole lot of other beautiful girls in glorious royal blue satin dresses. And she's quite glowy with her blonde hair and her fabulous tanned legs. She's quite angelic and, and very much a kind of prize out of, out of the group. one day. We'll be dancing with the stars. And then during that same sequence, she, she sort of gets married to Shane. So there's a kind of transformation that happens with that costume that's quite theatrical. I asked the Lord to marry me and she said, Yes! Yeah, in 1995 we had the wedding. Golmo House in Melbourne was the perfect setting. We were dead. You in my arms. So it's good, it's, it's great because it's like, you know, it's now up on the stage with all the bells and whistles that I always wanted to have involved in it. A great cast, an excellent creative team, excellent lighting design, great costume design, choreography, which is a bit of a spit out, and, um, and beautiful direction. And um, at least I can look at it and go, oh, this is what I, this is what I meant. You know, and whether people like it or not, I, you know, you've got no control over really. We just, you know, just go, this is what I, this is the kind of musical I reckon I'd like to go and see. Like 
slash spoof on musical theatre worldwide, not just in this country, was superb. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Why didn't I invest in it? But anyway, incredibly Australian, quite bizarrely kind of paradoxical in terms of the whole um, celebration, but that it's the, the undertow of tragedy and, you know, in terms of, well, you know, what? See, I don't want to, I'm feeling a bit nervous because Shane Warren might walk past and then I'll be talking about his private life. And I've got a small confession to make. My name isn't actually Shane Warren. My name's Eddie Perfect. Thanks so much for coming out tonight. But I'll try!